Welcome back, I'm the Pope 911 I'm going to be showing you how to get the Blades of Toth from the Hidden Ones DLC. The first step is to complete the Setting Sun story quest. means nothing to me. Perhaps you can learn more from it. I will get the rebels at my outpost to lead the attack on Tamus. Too many innocents may die. I will do this alone. As this is at the end of the, like the, the Setting Sun story quest. I, I cut that out of the video. And afterwards, you will be given the Scroll of Toth and Shards from a Sun quest. So the quest is a... Uh, it's a little puzzle, it's not too hard. But you have to travel to Toth's temple and go to the Tree of Life is the gist of the, uh, of the quest itself. So once you travel to the temple... It tells you that it is buried and encased within its roots. It says none, <laughs> that none unworthy shall find it. It's very easy to find. But on the map, you go to Ar Arsino Gnome, however you pronounce that. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I know I'm butchering it. I don't know how to pronounce half the stuff in this game. So as soon as I got here, I began looking at the roots to try to try to find anything. I thought maybe it would be like a papri and it would just say papri and it would just say loot. And then I noticed that the, the mirror could be interacted with so in past missions you've been able to use sunlight to reflect to open doors so I sped up uh, time here. Still I cut back to it because I, you have to wait still for the sun to start to come up. And there, are, there is going to be some uh, cobwebs on some of the mirrors. You, um, you actually don't even need to hit those ones. But here's the door. Not hidden at all. The axe I'm using right there is called the the Tooth of Sobek. I'll be making a video on how to how to get it. It's a legendary and, in my opinion, the best axe that you can you can get in the game so far. But here it is. You you pick up the little pyramid. Crystal of Toth. So yeah, I took the cobwebs out because I wasn't sure at this point on what the actual puzzle was going to be. That one you actually will need to take out, the left one. So then it needs you to travel to the, or climb to the top of the uh, obelisk to put the crystal at the top. So I speed up time here in a second. After jumping in the damn hay bale. Bad you couldn't actually climb that fast. And uh boop, here we go. And there you have it, the light will actually reflect down and hit uh, the two mirrors down below. I love it uh, when they put stuff like this into the game's little little puzzle quests that you end up getting uh, legendary items from. It's definitely a welcome addition. Well, I mean, they've always had it, but usually it's like an end game and you get like one outfit or something, but there's actually quite a few of these so far, which is nice. <laughs> Go ahead and break my ankle on the way down. Ah! <laughs> The mirror reflects the light. Alright, so the crystal. that's the one you you actually wanna shine the light at. I still at this point don't know, and I'm kinda trying to figure it out. Looking all around like a dipshit. So I spent up time so you don't have to watch me fail for I don't know how long it took, a couple minutes of failure. But that one right there. The light shines to the door and the tree. I think that's is that raw? I think it's a prop. 
There you have it. Opens up the door. Ah, there. Beneath the tree of life. A path has been revealed. I have never seen such swords. Made of the strongest iron, and have not rusted in all the ages spent under this tree. Mm. Green is uh, my favorite this color, so that green on gold looks sexy as hell. You could hear something weird over here, I wasn't sure what it was. It's just a bunch of cobras, which you can avoid. I cut it out at the end of this room, but once you grab the swords, there's two small rooms on the side you can go in. There's, there's a little loot, not much. Here's the prize. The blades of pulse. And there you have it. Quest completed. Shards from a star. The blades. Once I end up getting to them, there they are have a 4 adrenaline regen, a 1 combo, and health on kill. Blades of Legend, he who wields them draws the Ka Force from his victim. The Ka Force is soul. Ooh, badass looking blades. I don't use dual, uh, dual blades, but I, uh, I like these ones. Most likely gonna be using these. <laughs> And then at the end here, do show a little combat of them. I leveled them up to level 45 in this this video here. Expensive as hell, but I did it. See, they they, they play like your typical uh, typical dual blades, but you get like really crazy adrenaline when you hit people. Like, look at that adrenaline go up. He's stabbing people like crazy. Shanking him for days. This damn archer won't leave me the hell alone. Luckily, I have some <laughs> hyenas helping me out. No, I end up stabbing the bastard. Well, right here, the archer decides to return the favor. <laughs> Headshot the hyena for me. I wanted to get a kill animation, but there's the hyena at the end. Anyway, if you guys found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for some more Assassin's Creed content.